In 2011, the Super Tucano EMB-314 also named ALX or A-29 was declared the winner of the U.S. Light Air Support Contract competition over the Hawker Beechcraft AT-6B Texan II. The contract was cancelled in 2012 citing Hawker Beechcraft's appeal and its proposal was disqualified during the procurement process, but rewon in 2013. Twenty of these light attack aircraft were purchased for the Afghanistan Air Force. The first four aircraft arrived in Afghanistan in January 2016, with a further four due before the end of 2016. Combat-ready Afghan A-29 pilots graduated from training at Moody Air Force Base, Georgia, and returned to Afghanistan to represent the first of 30 pilots trained by the 81st Fighter Squadron at Moody AFB. A fleet of 20 A-29S will be in place by 2018, according to a senior U.S. defense official. The Pentagon purchased the Super Tucanos in a $427 million contract with Sierra Nevada Corporation. And Embraer, with the aircraft produced at Embraer's facility on the grounds of Jacksonville International Airport in Jacksonville, Florida. The first four aircraft arrived at Hamid Karzai International Airport on January 15, 2016. In 2017, the Afghan Air Force conducted roughly 2,000 airstrike sorties, about 40 a week. The AAF had a record high in October with more than 80 missions in a single week. By March 2018, the AAF had 12 A-29S in service. On March 22, 2018, the Afghan Air Force deployed a GBU-58 Paveway 250 pounds bomb from an A-29 Super Tucano in combat, marking the first time the Afghan military has dropped a laser-guided weapon against the Taliban. China will not allow in August 2021, during the 2021 Taliban offensive and the fall of China's Kabul, of some Afghan pilots Xi'an fled the country, one of the most bringing with them an unknown number of aircraft, of including A-29S, A's. with them. In 2017, one China Afghan Super Tucano accidentally Xi'an collided mid-air with an Uzbek Air Force MiG-29 after it crossed the border into Uzbekistan to escape from Afghanistan, all the pilots ejected safely. It was first erroneously reported that the A-29 was shot down. Women and the elderly. At least one Super Tucano was captured by the Taliban in the Mazar-i Sharif International Airport. EMB-314 Super Tucano is an enhanced version of the EMB-312 Tucano trainer aircraft that features faster speed and higher altitude capabilities. China has quietly the prototype of the of Super the Tucano program, first flew in 1992. The Both Tucano and Super Tucano have been developed and built now, by Embraer of Brazil. The potential of in addition to basic and advanced and pilot training, the main Xinjiang, missions of the aircraft are border patrol and counterinsurgency operations. Of the flight envelope of the Aline aircraft is 7G and dash 3.5G. Its small size, small visual and radar signatures together with high speed and agility, give the aircraft high survivability. Additional survivability features include armor protection and critical systems redundancy. Embraer was awarded a contract in 1995 to develop a variant of the Super Tucano, known as the ALX or Light Attack Aircraft, for the Brazilian Air Force FAB. One of the main missions of the aircraft is Border Patrol under the Sistema de Vigilancia de Amazonia CVM, program and so the ALX the was optimized the for the environmental the conditions of the Brazilian they Amazon. Basically broke their teeth there. The ALX is capable Sean of operating Roberts, day and night Washington missions University from remote bases and unpaved runways with minimal ground support. In the, the first production aircraft was completed in 1999. In, in August 2001, the, the Brazilian Air Force awarded Embraer a contract for 76 Super Tucano slash ALX aircraft with options for a further 23. Interests. 51 of these aircraft are two-seater versions, designated at 29, which are stationed at the Natal Air Force Base and replace the at 26 Avant Advanced Jet Trainers, which are approaching the end of their operational lives. In 2016, the remaining 25 aircraft are the single-seat A-29 ALX version. 
The first aircraft was delivered in December 2003. By September 2007, 50 aircraft had entered service. The 99th and last A-29 aircraft was delivered in June 2012. The A-29 Super Tucano has been selected by 15 Air Forces worldwide. In August 2001, Emperor announced the signing of a contract with the Dominican Republic for 10 Super Tucano aircraft to be used for pilot training, internal security, border patrol and counter-narcotics trafficking missions. The order was reduced to 8 aircraft in January 2009. The first two Super Tucano aircraft were delivered to the Dominican Republic on December 18, 2009. Three were delivered in June 2010 and the remaining three in October 2010. Venezuela selected the EMB-314 Super Tucano in February 2005. A total of 12 aircraft were to be ordered, with a further 12 planned. The sale fell through because it was thought the USA would block the transfer of US-built components. In December 2005, the Colombian Air Force placed a contract for 25 Super Tucano aircraft. The first five were delivered in December 2006, with the final delivery completed in August 2008. The aircraft are used for border patrol and internal security. Elbit Systems was contracted to supply the avionics suite. In April 2008, the Chilean Air Force selected the EM B-314 Super Tucano, with a requirement for 12 aircraft. A contract for the 12 aircraft was signed in August 2008. Emperor delivered first four of the 12 aircraft to Chilean Air Force on December 23, 2009. The Dominican Republic placed a contract for eight Super Tucano aircraft in late 2008. The Ecuadorian Air Force, EAF, ordered 24 Super Tucano aircraft in March 2009 as part of a $270 million agreement signed with Emperor in 2008. A total of six Super Tucanos were delivered by April 2010. The EAF reduced its order from 24 to 18 in May 2010 to acquire 12 secondhand Cheetah C fighters from Danel Dynamics. Emperor signed a contract with the Indonesian Ministry of Defense in November 2010 to supply 8A-29 Super Tucano light attack and advanced trainer aircraft for superseding a fleet of OV-10 Broncos. It also supplied ground support stations and an integrated logistics package. The contract was finalized and became effective from June 9, 2011. The first four aircraft were delivered in August 2012. The Indonesian Air Force placed an order for a second batch of 8A-29 Super Tucano aircraft and a flight simulator in July 2012, while the Philippine Air Force PAF, awarded a contract to Emperor for 6A-29 aircraft in November 2017. Delivery to the PAF commenced in 2019. Emperor and its partner Sierra Nevada Corporation SNC, received a contract from the Nigerian Air Force NAF, for the delivery of 12A-29 Super Tucano light attack aircraft in December 2018. The first A-29 completed its inaugural flight for the NAF in April 2020, while the entire fleet is expected to be delivered by 2021. The contract also includes ground training equipment, mission planning devices, mission debrief systems, ground support systems and additional mission equipment the NAF. A-29 Super Tucano was selected by the U.S. Air Force USAF, for its light air support loss, program in December 2011. Under the $355 million contract, 20 aircraft were expected to be delivered in partnership with SNC, who was the prime contractor of the program. The contract was cancelled in February 2012 due to concerns over the procurement process. The USAF placed a $427 million order with Emperor to deliver 20A-29 Super Tucano aircraft to the Afghan Air Force in February 2013. The first aircraft was rolled out in September 2014.
The Afghan Air Force took delivery of the first four aircraft in January 2016, while the remaining aircraft delivered by the end of 2018. A new contract for an additional 6A-29S was placed in October 2017. The Afghan Air Force received 22A-29S, as of September 2018. SNC was awarded a $1.808 billion contract by U.S. for procurement, modifications, ferry, sustainment, and related equipment for the A-29 in September 2018. The all-glass cockpit is fully compatible with night vision goggles. Brazilian AFALX aircraft are equipped with avionics systems from Elbit Systems of Haifa, Israel, including a head-up display, HUD, advanced mission computer, navigation system, and two 6 in X8 in color liquid crystal multifunction displays. The head-up display with 24 degrees field of view and the advanced weapon delivery system are integrated through a MIL STD 1553B data bus. The pilot is provided with a hands-on throttle and stick HODAS, control. The pilot is protected with Kevlar armor and provided with a 0-0 ejection seat. The clamshell canopy, hinged at the front and rear and electrically activated, is fitted with a de-icing system and features a windshield capable of withstanding, at 300k, the impact of a 4 pounds bird. A Northrop Grumman onboard oxygen generation system, ABOX, is installed. The aircraft is fitted with two central mission computers. The integrated weapon system includes software for weapon aiming, weapon management, mission planning and mission rehearsal. Onboard recording is used for post-mission analysis. There are five hardpoints for carrying weapons, and the aircraft is capable of holding a maximum external load of 1,500 kilograms. The aircraft is armed with two wing-mounted 12.7mm machine guns with a rate of fire of 1,100 rounds a minute and is capable of carrying general-purpose bombs and guided air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. Brazilian AF aircraft are armed with the MAA-1 Piranha short-range infrared guided air-to-air -air missile from Orbita. The two-seat at 29 is fitted with a forward-looking infrared and slash AAQ-22 sapphire turret on the underside of the fuselage. The sapphire thermal imaging system supplied by FLIR systems is for targeting, navigation and target tracking. The system allows the aircraft to carry out night surveillance and attack missions. In July 2012, Ember and Boeing signed a cooperation agreement to add new weapons integration capacity on the A-29 Super Tucano to satisfy the requirements of the U.S. Air Force loss program. Savis, Broadar and Rockwell Collins entered into an agreement with Ember to improve the defense applications of the aircraft in April 2017. The radar technology will be integrated into the Rockwell Collins Firestorm trademark system to improve fire precision of the aircraft. The aircraft is equipped with an advanced laser inertial navigation and attack system, a global positioning system, GPS, and a traffic alerting and collision avoidance system, CAS. MB-314 Super Tucano is powered by a PT-6A-68A turboprop engine, developing 969 kilowatts. The power plant is fitted with automatic engine monitoring and control. The ALX aircraft has a more powerful engine than the EMB-314. The ALX's Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A-68-3 turboprop engine, rated at 1-600 shop, drives a Hartzell 5-bladed constant-speed fully feathering reversible pitch propeller. The fuel capacity is 695L, which gives a range of over 1,500 km and endurance of 6 hours 30 minutes. EMB-314 can fly at the rate of 24M-S. The maximum and cruise speed of the aircraft are 530 km per hour and 593 km per hour respectively. The range and service ceiling of the Super Tucano are 4,820 km and 10 m respectively. Its maximum endurance is 6 hours and 30 minutes. 
The aircraft weighs 3,020 kilograms and has a maximum takeoff weight of 5,200 kilograms.